Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as you might expect after a night of peace. KOTT News crews took the opportunity to continue the leveling experience on Fresh Start and spoke with fellow adventurers about it. Good evening, Eternal John Chalant, KOTT News here on the scene with Mansa the Gray. Have uh, discovered that Jonas doesn't live over where he used to live anymore. Mansa, what do you, have you, did you know that already? Uh, yes, I did. I had to confront him several times since I've been here and uh, he didn't disappoint. I am trying to locate the Soul Wardens, if you're familiar with the term, so that I can save this godforsaken land. And Jonas is the man to see about it. <laughs> Jonas is the guy to see about a about a fish, huh? All right, well, let me see what he's <laughs> up to. Hey, hey there, handsome. It's good to see you again. Away with you, ghost. Well, you oh, he Sparrow told me to step face. off. Turning to the weather, and today looks like the sun will swing through the air before gracefully disappearing to the east. Then be on the lookout for a 40% chance of invasion opportunity around the island. And be sure to sign up. Three roster submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPGO. Remember, if it isn't LARPGO, it's cardboard. First up, the Covenant forces of Here Be Monsters Sewage Department assail the Marauders of Nirvana for control of the master fishing port town of Reekwater. HBM Sewage Department have received several complaints from the citizens of Aeternum about the water management of the region, but they'll be bringing more than some simple pH testers. Nirvana forces have been fairly diligent in maintaining their hamlet infrastructure, but have they let the Tree City plumbing system fall into disrepair? Later, the Covenant forces of Most Wanted LLC assault the Marauders of CB4 for control of the primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fen. Former sitting Great House of the Fen, most wanted forces return to the Peat Moss Bog after taking a two-month hiatus. But was that time well spent preparing to fight? The forces of CB4 are fighting on two fronts tonight and may have to make a hard decision about who is fighting where. But fight they will until you can feel them. In the nightcap, the Marauders of CB4 attack the Covenant forces of Tropical X for control of the rain-drenched region of Morningdale. Tropical X forces have been maintaining a vigilance of the Northern Death Wall while simultaneously developing their hot tub technology to improve their bathing rituals. Gusto and the boys have already sent the roadies to the fort in order to set up the staging and sound systems, but they're already starting to get anxious for the impending concert. We'll have any late breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been war correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.